Okay, we don't have time for that, but that's okay. Because <laughs> we can do it whilst we get into the game. I think we've we've already established that Zaiwu is is a god tier god tier player. He's he's one of a kind. He's the, the funny thing is that this isn't actually relevant whatsoever. But I always wanted to lead with this, where it's like he was born the same day the game came out. I know it's not yeah. relevant because <laughs> it's not like there's some mystical connection to that <laughs> fact. But but I kind but of maybe like is. the poetry of of that that he is this savant type player, and he is the core. He is as you mentioned the pillar. Uh, in in the vitality lineup, and it's it's going to be amazing to see these two teams face off. We'll have a pretty explosive and open map to begin things with. This is the grand finals. We'll be kicking it off with Mirage. Big will be down a map coming in from the lower bracket. They fought hard to get here. Vitality have looked fairly indomitable up until this point, but the question will be whether or not Big have made the adjustments that they need to make to win the hardest matchup possible in the European scene right now, or whether Vitality will just be able to have a business as usual result and just crush. We'll have to see as we get live on Mirage. Smoke Molotov from Big. We've seen this a couple times from other teams. I wonder if he's going to head towards the middle and Molotov off window. Usually the case for it. And that's what he does. Vintage. Old school stuff. What? You could use this to split the bomb site. What? What? It Where missed. is it? It missed. Did it go underneath? Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah, you can you can take the angle away to try and split the B bomb site. I think people would do that back in the day. But um Oh. Yeah, maybe there's a plan B. Oh, he's on burst fire. It's <laughs> Ampires, man. Well, let go of the mouse. His grip is too strong. He's got that G.I. Joe grip. <laughs> got the glue in his hands. G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip, as Method Man would say. <clears throat> anyway, we've got three players on the B bomb site for Vitality. Smoke on the balcony, which was my information. And the bomb seems to be headed in that direction. Tizian with some pre fire. And it is a full rotation from Big. We can see Zantaras has fallen off from that D area. But again, um, I think Shox is in position to perhaps hear some of these footsteps, although they'll cut noise. Maybe just in time. Apex now in the window, so he can have a faster rotation as Vitality patiently wait. And there's Tizian. He's on the way now, as is the bomb. We've got Super Mario Brothers in the apartment. Shox, though, he'll be uh, quietly trying to get some shots in from the back. He's got a big moving to that short pillar now as the bomb is slanted. Taps and holding the window. And it'll be all eliminations. Plenty of headshots just before the bomb gets planted. Well, that's certainly something you want to see if you are rooting for the underdogs. Allowing them a good start into the, the first first map is important but vitality will have likely a force by i would be surprised not to see it and that certainly has it seemed very difficult to win those rounds okay uh, in this tournament the last couple of weeks it seems like these rounds are so successful so we'll have to see if if that's going to be the case here vitality have the scout on apex and the scout is usually a focal point in the early to mid round as it's kind of the chip damage that then sets up the pistols and smgs later on in the round and we do have a couple mp9s here and it's, it's going to be a tentative approach from Big to make sure that they don't walk into any traps, and at least not straight away. Well, I'm looking at the, at the money at Zaiwu and Shox. It kind of implies that they might start off with double op set up on the CT side on their first full gun round if they don't win this. Yeah, that's a good point. So They're saving not buying that armor. We'll see if it comes into play if they needed it does seem like there will be a B approach coming out from Big, but Vitality have actually stacked towards this bomb site. This can go so badly for Big if they don't clear their angles properly. They are using good utility here, but they're just dry peeking out. And Apex is able to find a kill on Tapsin, but he's quickly dealt with. RPK still stands at the catwalk, though. He's able to find one, looking for more. But Zaiwu will actually help him out. Gets one of his own onto Xantris. But at this point, looking pretty good for Big. Clearing everything out quite well. Leaves just Masuta at that market entrance. It's going to be a tough one. It is a pretty damn good weapon in terms of like moving around these cl close range fights, but the like Masuta will go down here in big. They will survive the onslaught of that force by, and they will be standing tall in this round. They'll be in a position to grow their economy pretty significantly. Vitality have a single flashbang, but otherwise it looks to be more or less full USPs. As I say that, RPK will... He'll treat himself. He'll treat himself to a P250. <laughs> Big. 
Just spreading out to uh, a default centric setup. We have two people working that middle. As you see, Searson shortly scaling up towards that catwalk ish. But then Searson will take out shots with the Glock. The Glock. Why Mac 10? Why not? <laughs> that's uh, that's really cool, to be honest. <laughs> and we have a big elimination of players. So since Sonos Jobby kept his money reasonable, he will be a little short of the AWP though, unless he goes without a helmet, which really is less than ideal. Actually, Keto can drop him on, I suppose, or Tabson. There we go. It will be deployed. So now the big guns are going to come out for both squads. Vitality starting 0 3, of course. They are one map up as they were coming into this final from the winner's bracket. So that will be their advantage. It's one map in the best of five series. So Big will have to climb the mountain from the bottom, whereas Vitality are already at base camp. So we're quickly moving out of the window. And look at that, look at the preemptive smoke grenade for the Molotov. Allows him to keep his angle, looking for T's to cross, but they won't. They'll be focused on the B bomb site for the time being, although there are two lurkers top mid. Oh, this is really interesting. Tizzy might just catch the push. This is a superior angle. This right eye is so much stronger than what he's up against. Oh, he just fires a few bullets preemptively, but it's, oh, the flashbang is fantastic. Tizzy will keep chasing it down. He's got the second one as well. There's one more player at the end by the car, and he's going to finish him off, or Keto will at least. That was beautiful there. The, it seemed like Big had a huge read on that play, and Keto is he's a sentry in this position with the AWP. He's not letting anybody past. And it's just Masuta left, but that's incredible. How did they read that play? It's just nice pop flashing, nice protocols from Big to, to enable the, the kills to be exchanged. Now, I know they expected two people possibly to be maybe pushed up, but I'm pretty sure they didn't expect Apex to be at the van spot. Oh, no. Oh, oh. he wanted a knife, didn't he? He wanted a knife, <laughs> wanted that cheeky it. boy. <laughs> That would actually be so sick. Like, it's interesting. Is it worth potentially losing the orb to get a knife there? I actually think maybe it is. It, I think it's totally worth it. <laughs> the psychological warfare. Exactly. Would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be in your favor at that point. <laughs> but at this point, oh, Masuta is going to save this. And the problem with going for it is just that you can't count Vitality out when Zaiwu has this weapon mm -hmm. at, at any given point. That's very true. Hopefully, for Searson's sake. It might it, come back to bite them. It, it will be a non-issue, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, Zaiwu has a has an A spawn. Might go for a ramp pick or palace pick early on in this round to find something. I I do really wonder though that I, I it feels like Big have absolutely watched they they must have watched a bunch of Mirage demos of Vitality because the way that Tizian's anticipation there it, like it was they were specifically expecting that particular timing and push because the entire team was waiting for it. It yeah. wasn't just that Tizian was just like holding that spot. His, the whole team was ready to rush after that kill. So I wonder if there is a tendency for Vitality on their first gun round to get the first place they're aggressive as B apps or something like that. If they, they've seen some kind of a pattern because otherwise yeah. it, I wouldn't understand. I couldn't understand why they would do that otherwise. So that's just a good showing yeah. of their preparation, I would imagine, for this match. That's definitely a good look for Big and can bode well for them if they did do their homework on Vitality because Vitality have been winning a lot and the one problem with winning a lot is that you likely aren't going to be changing as much. If you're losing, that's when the big changes come about. That's when you have to correct some mistakes, fix some things, rethink your approaches. But, you know, Vitality success, it could come back to bite them in ways such as that. Yeah. And it is also curious to me, like, what, what other things do they have up their sleeves in terms of reading their opponent from the research that they have done on them? I'm sure, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, in theory, it should sort of come out every round in some, in small ways. Um, that was more of a macro sort of moment where we see the entire team uh, planning around a certain push that they like to make, that the Vitality side like, clearly like to make. And what's interesting too about that push, whilst we see this ego play out is, you know, something that um, I've been highlighting a lot recently is like one of my favorite pushes on this map at the moment is, is that smoke you throw oh, so smart. from CT spawn and it smokes the end of the B apps and then you get to molly and flash in towards the kitchen. 
if Vitality had run that aggression in that fashion, then they would they would not have fallen against Tizian. However, the difference is that well, the way that they were doing it, if there is no player hiding there, they don't give any clues away that they're taking that part of the map. So that's that's the trade-off. I love Zantorez's second peek there. He's, he he realizes that if Shox is where he thinks he is, and he jumps uh, on the on a Tetris area, he might just get blasted straight in the face. So he chooses the less likely angle instead. That awareness, considering Shox was in that place, was really awesome to see. Yeah. There's a boost for Searson to easy, easy, more easily catch players crossing towards Connector. I've seen all his T-side stuff, man. I know it now. I'm in the <laughs> Matrix, baby. <laughs> yeah. So he takes the alternative angle to not get pre-fired by the boxes and takes Searson out. I'm sure he's been watching the demos as well. Vitality still looking for their first round. Zaru just has like a USB CC port at the back of his head. It's like, doesn't need to watch the demos, he just plugs himself in. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Bigger getting picked, picked off here. They're, they're struggling to find a way to get not just the ground, but also keep the integrity of numbers for this attack. So it's going to take something pretty special from one of these remaining big players to open up this round at this point. And it's going to get worse. Zyru so indeed with that AWP causing problems. Just, again, picking them apart. They can't seem to get to this site. And the problem is that the Vitality players haven't really done anything. They haven't had to do anything because I was going to eliminate everyone by himself. His entire team were just like statues. <laughs> no one needed to move. But that's the setup though. That's what makes him so awesome because they are covering all the points for Zaiwu and then they tell Zaiwu, oh, go kill, go shoot, do whatever you want. We got your back. And that's what it takes sometimes. They just got his back and like whatever move he makes, they can easily counter with his, uh, his teammates. So... And that's one of the reasons why Vitality and Zaiwu is just such... He, he puts up such insane numbers is because they play around him for the most part. I'm not saying everything's based around him, but... You gotta... They put him in a position to win. They enable him. Yeah, they, they gotta, they you gotta, you gotta support your they get the most, star upper. The team is designed to get the most out of him. Which is, I think it's like kind of stupid and people are like, oh, he does everything. It's like, they put him in this a position awesome. to do as much as he can oh. and exploit his skill. Shock's coming in from the back. Now, what does that do for big? They know they've that the CTs know they have no position towards A, so it looks like they're gonna go, they're gonna go straight into a split of the B bomb site, maybe or maybe not. Maybe they're threatening it. The flashes to take the toll booth angle away. Apex wait. I love the the reemergence from the other side of the window once the smoke has gone. It can really catch players off guard. So I was in a very awkward position. Apex has a look with the org, which is notable. Not many people beyond Carrigan use the org. I feel like it's a bit slept on in its current iteration, but anyway. We have a four on four. Now, if Big are going to... Ah, they're going to imagine, I would assume, that Shox has had to fall back with all the presence they've had in mid. It's going to be a long pilgrimage to A, though. It's going to really burn their clock. Looks like Big have discovered that Zaiwu is at that B bomb site, and they're playing their best now to just avoid him, which means that it'll be Shox and Masuda who are tested. But Shox... He can be a star in his own right. <coughs> Masuta, no slouch either at the CT position, but they don't have many nades to support each other. However, Shox is in an excellent ninja position. Masuta spots them. He gets that first contact. And Big, they're reading it as if it's a retake A setup. They may not clear this position from Shox. This, this can be so instrumental in trying to win the round for Vitality. Shox, he emerges now, finds one, looking for more. Zaiwu is there to support him. Shox, though, still kicking here at this default position, and Zaiwu and him tear it apart. Wow, that play by Shocks really I mean, yeah. sealed the round. I was thinking Miss Huda kind of did uh, not a, an awesome job of dying there at that T ticket. I guess more of his job was just to kind of spot and stay alive more than anything. One of the things too about Shocks' initial aggression, this is really interesting. Oh, I'm glad we have a tactical, so I can do a bit of history here as well. When T's default on on uh, Mirage, it's gone through many iterations with the meta game in terms of how the defaults tend to look. Some teams, it used to be the case that your A player who would, let's say, um, either play Palace or A ramp would typically mostly play around A ramp. Then we had this era where Fur um, basically 
you know, made a name for himself by showing aggressions towards Palace because they noticed that a lot of teams were not lurking Palace at all with their A player on that default in the early round, which meant that the CTs could start having really high percentage plays, pushing all the way through Palace to get a lot of info and get some like backstab kills and so on. So this is something we just saw from Shocks. So a lot of teams in the way that they'll look at this is they will actually look at the tendencies of how teams do defaults because a lot of teams are very uh, reliable and consistent with where they put that A player and so it's very important for you to mix up your A player from Ramp and Palace equally so that you can't be exploited as easily um, as Shock was able to exploit Big in that last round. You can see the adjustment already coming up from Big too. They put one at Ramp, one at Palace. That's not a usual default yeah. by any means and no mid-pressure right now, which means Vitality will more or less understand where these opponents are, but who will get the better of whom in apartments? RPK comes out on top with a frag onto Tizian. Sursen, though, with an immediate trade. He's keeping the pressure on here. Throwing a smoke deep in the apartments means that Shox has to deal with multiple angles simultaneously, but it doesn't look like the pres pressure will continue. This is actually so fun. Both teams are playing around the idea that Firstly, Vitality showed very early on that they want to disrupt the default, uh, punish the players on the extremities, and now Big are playing against this. So, as you said, middle is being completely voided. No one wants to fight in middle. <laughs> it's all about the extremities of the map. It's amazing. So he just gets into position in time. He was wondering about that uh, potential crawl into CT, but nobody's there just yet. He's showing presence. Well, Masuta is going to swing out, but going to get eliminated by Kito. That was a very important kill as they are considering their options now. We can see on the meantime, Sirson's made his way into the B-bomb site, oh. and the bomb will be rotating. They've lost some position now of Shocks dying in the market. Kito was entertaining with a Molotov towards CT on A. He'll also be on the rotation. So Zaiwu will be able to get into market for free if he chooses to go for it. Apex does in the palace, so I'm not really sure if he's going to commit himself to a peak here. It would be... Yeah, just, I guess, fishing for something. But Apex already already given up on things, so... It's what, there we go. I was going to say, was was Hurston alone in B? Was there another dead body at the halls of the T side? Because he just pretty much lurked out by himself with well, an AWP. at the beginning of the round, they killed... The, they traded a kill um, on the B apartments yeah. player. And then yeah. when all the action was happening towards A, he, he was just, like, lurking out, basically. He was yeah. pressure lurking. Yeah. That's, uh... That's, I guess that's... Maybe not too unusual. I mean, that is kind of no. unusual with an opper, at least. Maybe uh, you see that more with the rifler, but it's good to see that they're not scared of not, you know, of, of making that kind of play, you know? Yeah. This was a very disciplined save call from Zaiwu as well. The fact that he had no utility and Sersen already established his angle there, there's not much Zaiwu can do other than come up with some. Just be lucky for the most part. If if, if Sersen's holding that, Zaiwu didn't have the tools to deal with it. And what's super cool here is that like we have both teams, they're actually playing against each other. Yes. And, and and what I mean by that, it sounds like maybe a silly statement, if you take it on face value. But but what I'm really saying is that both teams have done research on each other, and they're actually both adjusting to how the other team is adjusting. <laughs> it's it's and that's happening instantly. The fact that 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 last round was a great proof of that fact. Both teams playing around the extremities. Here's a mix-up, putting some mid-pressure on now, Vitality, because it has been free, but big. They hit that B-side super fast. Tizian's in there, causing all kinds of problems. Tamsin's made his way up catwalk, and Team Vitality, they're going to lose against this B-split, and this was, I think, Tamsin very was behind hard to read. Tapson was behind that short smoke when Zaiwu scoped in, walking up mid. So that was a free kill for Tapson uh -huh. as they got yeah. all the kills on the B-bomb site as well. So the, there was a complete dismantling of uh, personnel and position. A double P's in favor of Big there. And that's been so expensive for Vitality, but they won't be too far away from a buy. They've already got two grand per person. Masuta definitely needs to hold on to this gun. No, to keep parity with his teammates, but that was uh, that was quite the round for him, Big. Flash in the pan for Vitality. Flash in the pan. One one th quick thing I'll say about Big right now is that they're they're really impressing me because what they're showing me in this game is not like the, their success has got nothing to do with the in the, obviously like they have a great quality to their individuals but they're not relying on any of their individuals it's all about how they are trying to best vitality strategy and tactics and the research they've done I think it's really clear that that that's the kind of team they're being right now they're trying to be beats Vitality specifically, as opposed to being the best Counter-Strike team in that sense. Yeah, they're just really uh, abusing the timing of the rotations from Team Team Vitality. It, it seems like every time Big hits a bomb site, there's some noise somewhere else on the map, or a flash, or some kind of distraction, and then they use that timing window to 
kind of take over a choke point that the CT would normally be holding. It's just beautiful. It's like it. Biggs looks like they know exactly what to do against uh, Team Vitality. Well, it looks like it'll just be an A scrim play coming out from Big. A fast one. Tapson's already out the pallet, out the ramp, and he's able to find one there. Gets shocks in the palace position as well, but Obasuta on the bomb site getting mollied out. 3v3 situation breaking down here. Tapson flashing for himself on forward. Will he be challenged though? Oh. Players are all over the place. Vitality have rotated in already, and Big, they just couldn't scale quick enough there. It seemed like Tapson wanted to take more space for such a long time, but didn't know when that extra flash was coming. Had to try to set himself up, and that's when it's all stopped in its tracks right there. Yeah, it looks like it was really cool. Like I like the timing of when he got to sandwich, the Molly's flying into default, and it's like you can see, you can tell that those are like basic protocols that they have. But then, as you say, like it got to the point after that, I think they lost one too many players, and he's done. They got something got stuck. Yeah, very well played by Vitality. It's cool the mixture of pace though that we're seeing from Big. There's so many slow rounds. We're getting super fast rounds what? again. Sirson trying to run through the cat smoke, and Zai was there to punish him. And this pace from Big, it, it may not last for too much longer because so far it's being crippled by Vitality. That is a very important pickup though from Keto. Trying to enable his team onto the oh. site, but Shox is connecting oh. some beautiful shots there with the AWP. He is on bright and early here today, leaving just Tapson alone in the one versus four. Oh my God, it's not much he can do. Shox is going to take it down. Beautiful from him. I don't think I've ever, like, when Zyru takes his shots he has a he does a pretty good job of taking shots like high percentage sh shots and smokes and as you get fb to the pretty sure catwalk i don't know if he even saw him i think he just randomly shot in the smoke because one there's a high probability a person could be in the smoke right it's it's, it's a catwalk kind of play there's a smoke there and he's just he's just so smart and just knowing all those kind of small little angles just to you know just to shoot you might get lucky you never know and he he's so consistent on that Oh. Good protocols. Good A setup from Vitality to try to counter this one. Frags. Pull the frags. It might. No, they shouldn't be able to get the bomb plan out of this. At this oh, oh. Shox is on point, isn't he? He's been on the deathmatch. He's been listening to the motivational. Maybe his own motivational speeches. <laughs> you know, <it's>, uh, <laughs> Makes his own. For those of you that, uh, again, are newer to Counter-Strike, you may not realize that Shox used to be a god-tier player. Kind of the way that people talk about Zaiwu. Maybe Shox wasn't talked about quite in the same fashion, but he was considered one of the world's absolute best players um, yeah. at one point in his career and in CSGO. And he kind of fell off the last two, three years. And if you, if you uh, search a video, um, I think it's shocks god mode or something like that there's this the the the, the editor that made, made that video did put in like one of these speeches that shocks has and it's an igl and it's actually amazing and if it was all off the cuff which i think it was <laughs> it's actually it will give you nerd chills mm. you will get guaranteed nerd chills from that so like good, check that out like in the break video. like good video you know What's that? Pumped. I like a good yeah. frag video. Yeah. Makes you pumped up, gets you excited. And I'll tell you what also gets me excited is how many timeouts these teams have used so far. I counted at least four already in the first half. Yeah. And that's just, thank you. Thank you for using timeouts more. Well, Vitality are bringing it back perhaps it, because of the the adjustments that they're making with that with the timeouts that have allowed for them to figure out what to do. Yeah, just so happy seeing it done when they score is still kind of close, you know? Not 10 to 0. Call your first time out. Ooh. A deep throw on short, which will be useful because Zywu is in that position. We'll see if he chooses to force him forward. Oh, he's been taken out by Sizian, actually. Good, good, good timing on the flashbangs on the site as well. The boost on default won't be good enough. Still a man advantage for Big. And we've got Zantares lurking, making his way up towards the top mid. Sizian moving in for an angle. Misuta on 5 HP, 16 HP rather. We'll see what they're able to do now. Searson has the angle on the door. He's good at avoiding the baits as well. I think he just saw the belt clip there. The Batman utility belt. <laughs> but the Batmobile's fallen off the wheels for this round. Vitality will have to back off. Vitality had th a three-man setup there, yep. and they got annihilated, actually. That's insane. I we only saw Apex owning people, like a little turret on the, on the box, but I'm kind of curious. It feels like Vitality shouldn't get so wrecked. 
I think in big, that spot. I think Big had really nice um, um, Molotovs towards that B bomb site where they only have to focus on like three angles instead of maybe like five or six angles. And complement it with some flashes uh, out of that. Just really, uh, yeah, just Vitaly couldn't do anything really. A lot of Big's best set pieces have been at this B bomb site and. Because of that, it feels like they've actually conditioned Vitality to put three players at that site, and it still worked. <laughs> that's, so, a, that's not a good sign. Yeah, that's not a good sign for Vitality <laughs> for the rest of this half. They're going to constantly have to have a couple players there, maybe take advanced B apartments control, or just take some kind of other position away from Big so that the hit becomes completely one-dimensional. But this may force Vitality to play a little bit out of their comfort zone. I'm interested in the response because... When you're up, at a, up against an exec that you just can't counter, no matter the manpower you throw at it, it's it can always be it's a lurking problem. Yeah, and, and it's always I do wonder as well because some teams have different philosophies. You know whether or not you know if it the ain't if it ain't broke don't fix it philosophy where you force the other team to adjust because sometimes teams make the wrong adjustment and it costs them more rounds and so you can outright win a match off of a single type of strategy. But but there's also the other philosophy of let's let's use the conditioning. That we just use the fear we've instilled to get advantages elsewhere on the map. Yeah, it looks like they might throw a fake off of it. It's all slowed down. What to see? It looks like that's brewing. The bomb alone, top mid. Shocks waiting. Ready for this? Easy kill from him. Oh, and wow. Zyu at the same time. That's the the bomb dropped at the bottom of Catwalk. Oh, Shox is just on point. I don't know that I've ever seen him so sharp right at the beginning of a series. Yeah, so big. They tried throwing the same B exec once again and using that to hopefully pull an over-rotation from, from Vitality. You could see that they wanted to take that late mid control, but it just didn't work. Vitality held their ground. They had Shox holding that underpass, Zaiwu holding top mid, and they just got picked apart at that point. So like you said, Dan, maybe if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Big, they tried fixing something that maybe wasn't even broke to begin with. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if they just go back to the set piece because maybe they're feeling like, oh shit, let's just let's just run what's been working. Um, it's interesting too because I was moving around a lot, and that that is this moving, changing variable that can certainly shift things massively in favor of vitality. So it looks like they may actually instead go for a play towards A here. I'm not sure what the look is going to be here. They don't have an enormous degree of utility, so it might just be run up connector here and try to get it and get that split going between connector and a ramp. And uh, there's only two players on this site, so that conditioning towards B is certainly still in effect right now, because Vitality do, do not have uh, the amount of players you usually expect towards mid and A. So that could actually benefit big here. We'll have to see. Apex will have a look in from Catwalk though, and that's kind of a problem. That does add additional players to this defense. And it's not going to work out for Big. Maybe they would have been better with a straight-up contact play on A, but regardless, we are neck and neck at the end of the first half of this Best of Five series. Join us after the break to find out what will happen in the second half. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. This is the second half between Team Vitality and Big, your grand finalists. This is a Best of Five final. Of course, Vitality from the upper bracket coming in with a map advantage, but Big, they're looking pretty good into this first map. We'll see what they can do on the pistol, though. RPK on the raid boss, the P250 and Kevlar. However, the USPs here are raining in. Death and destruction onto this Vitality push, leaving just shocks, but he is notorious in a pistol round, and... He is looking actually so sick right now in this first map that I cannot wait to see what he's able to do because he has the bomb and it looks like he may just get a free bomb plan here on this B site. Oh, may not be super free actually. We'll see what he can do with this. If he's able to get this kill and get the bomb planted, he has to get this kill very quickly. It's shocks, so maybe he can do something here, but no, it looks like he, he actually is not unable to meet the first win condition there. There's been a lot of uh, on, on pistols where the CTs are stacking in the bomb sites and CTs are kind of like running into it. I wouldn't be surprised maybe in the future of this best of five we'll see more of a defaulty pistol and then regroup after they get a bit more info. Yeah, I feel like teams have been moving away from default pistols on CT side simply because you your first priority is to win the round. Your second priority 
is to stop a bomb plant, and stacking gives you a 50-50 chance. At oh, this was supposed to be a, a big sneak, it looks like, to try to get that bomb out of that A site, but pushing Palace already is Sursen to just find it, and that likely takes away any chance Vitality had in this round. Uh, clean, five players alive, only taking five points of damage on Xantaras, and very clean stuff from Big. Yeah, the 10 7 scoreline in favor of Big right now. They are looking really good going into this second half. However, they are in that awkward spot where they've got the FAMAS, uh, two MP9s, uh, and then four and an AWP against full AKs. So we'll see what they can do with this round. The AWP on Searson is always a welcome and comforting side if you're a big fan. And they're going to go for that and push in the apartments again. No. Oh. Taps and follows up onto shocks, and that's a one for two exchange. That's beautiful. They don't have the bomb. The bomb's actually in T spawn, but they're pushing a ramp. If they keep pushing a ramp with Tizian, he's going to see the bomb. And it doesn't matter what's happening with the other T players. Well, as soon as he sees the bomb, which I think that he sees it now, I think, I, no, it must have shown up on the radar there. Maybe he didn't consciously. It might be behind that wall. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm also not sure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. This now there's a surge. Like the America, American, American military. <laughs> it's a surge. Masuta gets a quick one versus two. He is very scared that more army players are coming. God, my English is really terrible right now. I used to go and read the dictionary. <laughs> Apex is in a one versus three. Yeah, he's got super tongue tied. Too much orange juice. Still looking for players top mid, but there's nothing doing there. He could actually smoke off the bomb. He's got one minute on the clock. So much better than he's got. You've got a smoke. No, it's not going to work out for him. He'll go for the jewel instead. Nothing wrong with that, but it'll go the way of Big. A strong start for a team who have begun this series 1-0 down. Big are so strong at playing when they're ahead. They take so many individual liberties across their players. And when you have players like Sersen who are confident in a server along with Keto, it's hard to stop them. And it gets Vitality out of their comfort zone consistently in such a way that they always know that they might have to deal with some ridiculous play that should not be happening, such as Keto running into Palace with an MP9 on a gun round. Just little things like that are, they're so frustrating to play against. So Vitality though, if there were any team to be resilient, it would be them. Yeah, bigger in such a good position now there. If they don't lose any players here, which is it's unlikely that they will, then they'll have a lot of money in the bank as a buffer, which will only serve to embolden their courageousness with some of these individual pushes that they're making on this CD, C, the CT side. And that is really destabilizing to the team that's behind. I think just like you're saying, Alex, it's, if you're on the risk, if you're like trying to say, okay, this is how we're losing the game, and uh, we're gonna cool, nice. <laughs> we're oh. gonna adjust for that. And then they're pushing you and then getting a kill early in the round. And you haven't been able to even run your game plan yet. It's just very oppressive to be against something like that. Yeah, you can just expect Big will do something again in this round that may upset Vitality. Vitality, because of it, might just have to call a very passive default here to try to scout those kinds of plays out. Or they may just go to a set piece immediately to just take the guesswork out yeah. of it all. I, I would, uh, if I was Vitality now, and I'm waiting for the push, the most annoying thing is if Big start playing really, really passively. And that's like yeah. that conditioning element too, where it's like, Big, because they took big risks before, and they actually went well, that actually allows them in future rounds to take less risk, and for the same threat to be present, which is really impactful. But it is, as you said, they're taking the guesswork out of it, Alex. Got a deep play on A here from Big. Cheeto playing anti-flash. This is I like to call this the YouTube setup because I feel like Fallen and Co. popularized it when they had him here. I think it's the AWP. Oh, we've got a gap in the smoke, but Mitsuto will take the bait and do better than it was expected. I don't know if that gap was deliberate or not either way. Keto now is stuck. I don't know if they realize that he's here. They certainly will now. Those sound cues will be heard by the plays in Palace. They know that one more is towards that ramp and he will start to fall back drop on Molly, but he needs a lot of help and that help is nowhere close. He is alone. And uh, you do wonder what Big will choose to do now. Three versus five without really any position on this A bomb site. 
They do have a good selection of utility. There's two incendiaries available, which actually does make this very winnable. It just depends on whether or not they want to go for it. It looks like they would fancy their chances with these weapons in another round, which is really interesting because I feel like against a lot of teams, they would absolutely give this a go um, to at least get a pick. Uh, see, see if they could get a pick early. But here, what we saw is they actually they give up on it instantly. They don't, they don't even think about it. Um, yeah, at this point in the game, they're up in the rounds itself. And Team Vitality, I mean, they're considered one of the best teams in the world. If you don't respect them, it's going to bite you in the ass eventually. And it's just smarter in a five-on-three situation. Bombs down or bombs in the bomb site planted and... It's just, it's not worth it. Have to I think it's low very, percentage. Yeah, it's very low Three percentage. Three versus five, you're just simply out of position. I, I'm curious if, if Big decided to call off of that also, because all they saw were right side smokes, and they knew the players from Palace threw no grenades at all, so they probably assumed that Vitality had a lot of nades to just work with mm. in the post plan as well, yeah. to make that impossible to retake. They probably thought there was at least a couple more smokes from Vitality that could just keep dropping down. That's a good point. Oh, Vitality may be doing the same round again. So what Big were doing to Vitality at the B bomb site on the first half, it seems Vitality may be doing to Big on the A site in the second half, and they're going to go straight for it. Oh, the, line, oh. the damage is enormous oh. from Tapson. And it's a four versus three in favor of Big now. Vitality with a lot of problems here. They'll have to find some kind of a way to recover. I'm not sure what that way will be, especially with Keto. Here from CT, from Ticket, able to do some damage. But Saiwu, he's still alive. Creating some space on the side. This is Antares did around those stairs earlier on. Antares now being taken out. No one else in CT after Keto was taken out. More lurk smokes from the CTs. There's a light, slight gap for Tizian to make his way forward with, which could catch Shocks off guard. Although, surely he's not going to 180 here. Shocks getting there with the second burst. Now, where is this? And that is the question. I don't think he as much of an idea, but it's awkward for Sisson to deal with this position with an AWP. Falls off, now Shox has the info. Jigling dancing around, oh, 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 he, oh. get he would get there in time as well. How on earth has he done that? It was awkward for both, all, awkward for all concerns. Oh my Sisson God. Sisson is the one that comes out standing. That's a slam your mouse oh pad. My God. Um, that's a slam right there. Just uh, hitting your fist right on the table. I don't know when I've seen that actually, like that happen, that fight. Because that fight with the guy in Tetris and like kiting and then jiggling and the CT trying to take him down, like seen this a million times, but seeing a guy like miss the op shot, swap out for an M4 and barely kill the T, I haven't seen that before. <laughs> That's that, that. that was a crazy 1v1. Surprise shocks didn't just take the initiative as soon as he heard that initial op shot, but yeah. once again, Vitality just going back to their well at A. Keto here to defend a triple now. Has an opportunity to find a lot. He's able Good. to take down Masuta already. Good supporting flashes to keep him alive here at this position. And he's going for more, but he is eventually taken down by RPK. But the rest of the cavalry has arrived on the side of Big. They're already ready in position. But Saiwu on this lurk, this might be everything for Vitality. Moving up connector now, trying to find some more space. Oh, Saiwu's making the big brain play. He's able to find one. Can he get the other? Oh, just missing that player in the smoke, does tag him, pulls out the P250, but Sursen finds the no-scope, and now RPK and Shocks trapped at ramp, but they still have some fight left in them. See yeah. the bombs rotating away as well, combined 5 HP, but Shocks is on the way. Just a quick note, I can't imagine any other player doesn't take out that first kill there apart from Zyru. Looking to win the round and get a second player, that was ridiculous, but Wait, Shox, Shox is still the bomb. running the gauntlet. He has dropped the bomb yet, yeah, and he's trying to sell the rotation, but RPK is going to be heard and flanked by Tizian, so maybe he wanted to play it safe, but I think they were out of options either way there. That was a difficult one for them towards the end, but um, I mean, Zywu's trigger discipline there, I think, was kind of exceptional. It's a shame he wasn't rewarded for it, but such is life. Yeah, and, and that 1v1 that Shox had against Searson around Sandwich, I think that, that was also a big moment that it could re that was like a round where Big really needed to, uh, rather uh, Vitality really needed to win that one um, to be able to get back into this. Because right now it's looking kind of hopeless. All the success Big found on the first half on that B-bomb site, Vitality are failing to replicate that in the A site, which they've been trying to, to have success on in this half. Big have defended it too effectively. And so now Vitality have to create some kind of a plan, but it's not looking like there is much of a plan right here. Maybe I'm wrong. 
The suits are hitting people in the face. I guess that works. But Xantaris has a really good position here to deal with the connector swing. How much can he get out of this? Will there be a flash? There it is from Palace. That's beautiful. But Xantaris is still alive somehow. I didn't take any damage. Oh, good work from Keto. Keto. Yeah, he did way more than you would expect. He was in a really bad position, but this keeps things doable for Big now in a two versus two. Quickly made to one as Zywu plants the bomb. And again, that can be used as a one-way smoke. Trying to look over to the CT position and trying to find a 1v1 where he can. Now he has a lot of the information, if not all of it. He sees the location, looking for that second player. He's being touched by that molly and he's walking into the CT position. He's seen them now. He's blind and Xantaras will just about get that kill. He was convinced they were jungle and connector, so there, there was a free kill there, but you've got to be careful. Big's teamwork is looking so tight right now. Everything is so calculated. Pop flash and hurry each other. Mm. They're waiting for their teammates at the perfect time. I mean, Vitality has all this as well, but it didn't look like to a certain point where, as you saw right there in that round, Miss Hudig just kind of ran up towards that connector and got two kills, but there's no flashes behind them. There's nothing kind of pushing off catwalk in that scenario, so it shows that Big's just really coming out here to play and just looking like a well-oiled machine, as her coach said. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like that. They're, they're so in the zone at the moment. Every individual firing off. And once again, Keto, he can't really Goodness. be tested. He's actually getting a lot of value from this triple position. Sisson as well is also just as formidable, if not more so, on that oh AWP. Oh, and Keto nice. continues to ravage this push. There's nothing left of it. It's just the, the pillar who remains, but there's nothing around him anymore. No pieces to work with. Keto's looking like Zywu right now. He's 25 not, kills, I think he's on. He's not missing a single shot, and all his shots are fast-ass flicks. Instantaneously seeing them, and he's dead. That's what you gotta have. Oh, it's still so hopeless for Zywu. It's a 1v5 here to keep Vitality in this first map. Big looking to tie up the series one to one. Inferno is next. So we now have 40 seconds to figure this one out. This would really be quite incredible if he could even halfway find some success. But Keto, of course, who else will take him down? A quad kill for Keto at the end of the half. And that really tells you so much about this game. Vitality really wanted to hit and hammer that A bomb site. But Keto was there and he stood against the test multiple times. And he, ma he made it look really good. Keto looked pretty, <laughs> pretty effing amazing. I'm not going to lie. His op looked really good. And Searson looked good. The whole big roster just... They came out swinging. They really did. This was a beautiful game of Counter-Strike between these two teams. A game of preparation, a game of adjustments, a game of individuals. And Big came out on top right here. Um, any closing thoughts before we go to a quick break? Tease uh, people. Let's go to the break. Well, All right. This was Big's one. pick, but we have more. And Vitality's pick is coming up next. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break, guys. We'll discuss that map. and We have so much to talk about after the break.